monkeys are restless this night. They serve their master well. Yeah, but it makes my job harder. Hey, everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Last time, we started making Rajan's life in the jungle a little bit hard. We invaded his personal space and got some of the blueprints for his operation. We destroyed his precious satellite array, as well as we... Uh, what else did we do? Oh, yeah, we bugged his office with a literal bug. Tonight, we are going to be heading out with... Um, hmm... You know what? We're gonna head out with Sly. Sly has got a lot of stuff going on for this segment of the heist. Uh, he's got about one, two, three missions out here, and then Bentley has a mission himself. For once, I'm actually gonna do a majority of the missions, but we're gonna be swapping Sly out for another character pretty soon. So what I'm gonna do is start out with Sly, uh, do the swap, go to Bentley, do his mission, and then do the other Sly missions. That way, it's a nice little wrap-up thing, and I don't have to trek through some of the more lengthy segments of Rajan's operation out here. So where I want to go is over by the elephant statue, or I guess the elephant building, I should say, because right there, during uh, for that giant ruby up there, uh, it requires Sly's expertise, but it's actually going to be a team effort. So we're going to head over here. Uh-oh. Peekaboo! I'm surprised he had no idea I was right there, although that guy did. Or maybe he didn't, only the snake got me. I'm honestly surprised that guy should have had me dead to rights, but you know what? I'm okay with it. Makes my job a lot easier. We're just going to start skating along these slippery vines and head on over back to where one of the treasures is located. So I'm going to need to come back up here with Sly sometime in the future. Also, speaking of treasure, might as well grab whatever this guy has. It's probably going to be a bronze, though. Yep, knew it. And for that, sir, you must die. I'm sorry, them's the rules. There's one of those restless monkeys right now. Let's see if he actually has anything valuable on him. Does it look like it? Which means that he must die as well. I'm sorry. Once again, them's the rules. Now, a part of me could jump down there and grab that casing uh, to run it back to the safe house, but we've already made our way up here. I really don't feel like going down there, running back, going back up here, and then running all the way back to get to the segment, so we're just going to skip it for now. We'll come back here to slime. We'll probably do uh, that last uh, treasure right there before we start the heist itself. Just because it's out of the way and I just want to keep things a bit coherent. Ride this down over here and let's see what we got. We've been contracted to acquire that huge ruby of Rajad's for a local crime ring. In exchange for the goods, they'll set us up with a Cherry Bomb 500 for the heist. A Cherry Bomb 500? That's a lot of kick. Trust me, we'll need it. To get that ruby free from its moorings, you might have to whack it a few times with your cane. I'm on it. Alright. Pretty decent sized ruby. I'm sure it's worth a lot of money. I'm just gonna smack it, smack it again, smack it one more time. Also, apparently chipping pieces off it if those red parts were any indication. I'm sure it's fine. Murray, you're on. Sly's knocked the ruby loose, and now we need your muscle to get it to the buyers. Muscle on the way. I never actually noticed that Sly was still up there. Hold on a second. Nope, he's already gone. I never actually seen him up there during, like, the Murray introductory segment. But yes, uh, this isn't specifically a Sly mission. Sly just starts it off. We are actually playing a Murray mission for this one. What you know, it's good. Murray needs more missions in his repertoire. And I'm... Okay, good. Now, just to make sure he does not get in my way. There we go. Gonna make our way back over here. And just go this way because it's the easier route for Murray to get to the elephant statue or the elephant building. I keep calling it the elephant statue for some reason. And take care of that guy as well. Mm, you know what? Yeah, there's already a flashlight guard patrolling up there, so I'm going to need to take care of him real quick. Punch. Uh, 
Now that we're down here, all we need to do is hop up onto this mushroom and make our way to the ruby. Now, I need you to pay attention to what Sly says real quick because it, it's some straight up BS on his end. Just pay close attention to his words. Murray, you can pick up the ruby with your stop move. Despite its size, that rock is really fragile. Bentley will run ahead and inflate cushions that are safe to throw the ruby onto. Use them, or this operation's a bust. Now, head out to our rendezvous near the waterfall. Yeah, this rock is really fragile, except for when it gets beaten over multiple times by a uh, sliced cane. Falls onto the ground above where it was once at, and then falls all the way down here onto the staircase. Yeah, super fragile, Sly. I don't know. Maybe Murray's power throws are enough to break this rock. But for now, this is kind of an escort mission, I guess I should say. Uh, we got Bentley right here. He's going to clear the way for us, drop off pads that we need to throw the ruby to, because Murray, unfortunately, can't jump while carrying things. <coughs> And we just need to basically follow Bentley, make sure we stay close to him, and try our best to avoid any guards that might come by. Not gonna lie. Once again, as much as I like this game, I hate this mission. The episode 3 of Sly 2 probably has the worst set of missions in the entire game. This, along with the water bug run mission, is just... Uh, it's not good. Sometimes the, the throwing of the ruby is really wonky, and Murray will just throw the ruby in a completely opposite direction from the way you uh, from the way you wanted him to throw. Or sometimes he'll miss it by an inch, and it doesn't register that the ruby should go to the crash pad instead, or I guess the cushion, or whatever this is supposed to be. This ruby is near flawless. I recommend to my superiors that we purchase it. Take it to our buyer and complete the contract. I always wonder what kind of animals uh, the thieves out here are supposed to be. Honestly, I can't quite put my finger on what it would be. Oh, great. Of course you'd have to be patrolling down here. Alright, come on. Oh, man, this is a, such a highly trafficked area. It's ridiculous. Where is he going? Okay, he's patrolling down by the grotto. So I guess we'll just... Oh, he's turning around. Alright, we'll just drop down right here. Uh, Bentley! Don't move! He can't see you! His eyesight is based on movement, and also light! Bentley, you fool! Uh-oh. Don't be scared, it's just the snake. So long. Oh, okay. Now it's time to be scared. Uh oh. I think the even the flashlight guard got Murray's attention, especially with the fact that this is a guard area. Let's see how to deal with these guys. Ooh, we are in trouble. We are in big trouble right now. It's a good thing we got Murray here because if Sly were here, we probably would not be able to get through this. Oh god, there are so many flashlight guards coming our way. Good thing we have the high ground. All right, yeah, we just toss it over there. Up down here because there's no easy way to do it. I would say that the turnbuckle launch is a requirement to complete this mission, unless you did some fancy footwork and you had to run all the way through the grotto, all the way back up to where you started, and then do your best to jump down here to just get the damn ruby onto the the buyer's pad. It's ridiculous at times, I swear. I must say, the Cooper Gang certainly lives up to its reputation. This is a true Indian treasure. We will honor the bargain and provide a cherry bomb 500 at the time the turtle requested. Okay, bye then. Whew, that is a huge load of stress off my shoulders now. It's just, uh, that mission can be incredibly wonky and just ridiculous at times. I'm happy it actually went as smooth as it did, aside from the fact that every guard within a half-mile perimeter decided they wanted a piece of Murray. Alright. 
Well, I said we were also going to grab a treasure as Murray as well, and seeing as how the only treasure he technically can get in this mission is the flask that was up by the flashlight guard area, I say we go up there, grab it, and make our way back to the safe house. Also, make sure this guy does not yell for any friends, because that would be bad. Incredibly bad. Enemy scaling in this area seems really weird. It's like it seems like it's only in this like one small foggy area. But yeah, even like the the monkey guard up there, he's just growing to ten times his size. Same goes with the flashlight guard. It's mm, it's super weird. Right. Don't need to worry about the elephant it's all the way over there. Take care of this guy because I feel like he might actually turn around and see me. So long as no one hits me, we'll, we're good. But I really don't want to have an entire entourage chasing after me. I'm just gonna hop on down here, ignore the snake. And last, oh gee. Take care of him for now. And with that, we are golden. Alright, I'm gonna head out with Bentley now. Uh, we, Bentley's mission is not that far away from where the safe house is located, and it actually does take place a little bit closer, so it'll be more of a straight shot for Bentley. Sly's missions in here require him to go to other specific areas out here in the jungle, and it's just gonna be a hassle to get out of there and then come back, so... That's why I'm picking Bentley over Sly for now. How did you see me? Alright, well, might as well stay up here. Okay, good. Uh oh. No, you get down there. Nope. Not gonna do anything. Just so there's one less guard to deal with. Hmm, I thought you were the one that was uh, sleeping down there. Oh dear. Alright, time for a wake up call. Come on. Oh dear. We m might have had a bit of a trouble. Yep, it is time to run. It is time to run. It is time to get very far away from that guy because he is throwing swords at me. Let's just drop a little trap just in case he does. Nope. Detonated too soon. Alright, we lost him. Of course, there had to be a monkey guard down here as well. I thought I blew you up. What the hell? All right, you know what? This is starting to get a little ridiculous. Oh, great. Of course. Okay, fine. Go to the mission. Rashan's holed up in his temple. Got any ideas to force him out of hiding? My research indicates that tigers have an aversion to water. By destroying that dam, the temple will be filled with a runoff. Flooding him out, huh? Good plan. But I don't think your bombs are strong enough to do the job. You're correct. Fortunately, while monitoring the bug in Rajan's office, I overheard that a new autopilot attack helicopter had just arrived. It's sitting inside this truck. Stay sharp. That dam is sure to be well protected. Yeah, that trailer must have had a pocket dimension in there because there was no way that helicopter fit inside that tiny thing. Alright, got a bunch of attack helicopters, it's basically the ones that we fought in the, the last episode. All you gotta do is make sure they don't get too close because they will never hit you so long as they're at a range. Unless they shoot a red missile at you. In that case, then yeah, they're definitely gonna be targeting you and you have to shoot that down. Like that. If it starts doing a little corkscrew like that, that means that miss missile is not gonna miss you like the other ones do. The rest are just for, like, uh... I guess atmosphere. Definitely need to keep working on these guys, 
though. They're getting a little too close for comfort. If they do get too close, then they actually will unleash a barrage of missiles at you, and yeah, they drain your health fast. It's best to try and prioritize any of the closest helicopters that are to you so that way they don't just completely overwhelm you with their missile barrage. And then when some are at a distance like those ones, just start unloading into the dam above Rachan's place. Alright, that one's getting a little too close for comfort. And once again... Bentley has a high body count because I'd have to think that each of these, I'm going to guess these choppers are, uh, have pilots and co-pilots in them, which we, ooh, that one actually hit me. Uh, so if you double the amount of guards Bentley has taken out, especially the ones I bombed on the way up here, Bentley has a pretty high body count even by this point in the game. You can stop with that. Nope, nope, nope. Ooh, that was close. Take care of that. Load. When he gets too close to uh, being out of health with a dam, it's best to just unleash everything you've got into it. That way, you don't have to worry about any of the other helicopters. Like this. Just keep on loading. Make sure it doesn't overflow. And there we go. Another happy landing. And it's a good thing that Elephant decided to phase out of existence because that would have been trouble for us. Oh, he's all the way down there. Alright, let's head back to the safe house, shall we? Because we've got some work to do. Now that Bentley and Murray's missions are done, it's time to make the long haul with Sly. Uh, from what I can guess, or from what I think, we should probably head off to the one by the waterfall real quick. Because that mission is actually going to be muddy, much easier for us to get out of, aside from the, the one from the on the right side of the base. For now, I'm just going to sell the bronze pen that we got from that one guard and head back out with Sly because I forgot to do it when we had Bentley. And let's see, it's all the way over there. Sly, please. Alright, I think it's at the base of the waterfall. Yes, it is. I wasn't 100% sure if it was on the base or it was up in the ruins. Cooper, we meet again. Constable Mila, thanks for not ratting me out back at the ball. Oh, I should be thanking you. The look on Carmelita's face was priceless. She took it hard, huh? No one likes to have their affections played with. I know, I certainly don't. Look, Mila, as soon as this India job is over, why don't you and I go out on the town? We'll dance through Bollywood and eat curry all night long. I'll keep in mind, but first the task at hand. I've learned of a secret entrance leading to half of the clockwork heart. Legally, I can't enter the premises without a warrant. But now a thief like you... A thief like me can go wherever he pleases. I read you. Don't fall behind while I lead you to the entrance. This place is thick with guards, and standing still can be lethal. I hear that, sister. Hey, you're not kidding. Have you seen what happened to Bentley earlier? It was ridiculous. Also, Sly, do you really think eating curry all night long is a very smart thing to do? Because do you have a stomach made out of cast iron? Because the only way you're going to be able to survive that night of curry binging is to have a stomach made out of cast iron. Alright, so once again, it's another Nilo mission. Just got to follow her throughout the jungle. You know, just a, a nice brisk walk. You know, just enjoy the sights, take in the sounds. Enjoy the rain and do our best not to get uh, hit by her or any of the guards and also to not hit her because if you do hit her, it actually does fail the mission. Hmm. Nilo, why do you have to do this to me? Oh, dear. Whoop. Oh, she's just not holding back, is she? Nila, 
Wait up! I have a half a battalion of guards on my tail! Wait, you know what? Get him off my tail. Thankfully, Neela can take out any single guard in one hit if they're close enough to her. Aside from that guy, she had some troubles taking care of that guy. Now, that table and those water jugs, that's a different story. I'm just going to get these guys off my back as well. And loop, and loop, and loop, and one more for good measure. And remember, if push comes to shove, I never showed you this door. And... And... And we're on for that date in Bollywood. Ah, I see. She has a pocket dimension herself. Also, you know we could have just taken the stairs, right? We didn't need to run through the entire jungle to get here. There it is. Just like Neela said. In order to lower the clockwork heart, you'll need access to that control box. But it's locked down tight. Oh, I'm sure these guards won't mind if I borrow their keys. All right. I believe there's only no, there's only two key, uh, two locks in the winch. So we just gotta take care of these two guards and also pick through this guy's pockets pretty fast. Yeah, it is if he doesn't see me. Okay, good. And there's one key. Now, we can't really go that way because that's all uh, broken off. So, what we're going to do instead is we're going to sneak down and around here. And as you can see, there's the little, like, uh, water delivery system and the guard that we still should have been caught by during the recon phase. Now, I'm not going to go for the guard up here real quick. As you can see, there's something down there by this guard. So, what I want to do is I want to drop down next to him back here and take him out as soon as I relieve him of all the cash that he has on him. Because right over here we got a little number pad. How Slide knows the number to this, I will never know. But it opens up the force field right here and gives us some money, so it's just a small thing to note. Alright. Now all we gotta do, it's a good thing that the devs actually thought of this, and for whatever reason, the mechanism here is completely broken, because during the recon phase, it would drop the waters down onto the spice plants down here to, to you know, help cultivate them and help them grow and such, but for whatever reason, it doesn't open up the bottom of the barrels anymore, so it just keeps riding it around in circles and just keeps overfilling itself with water. It's ridiculous. But, you know what, it helps me, and that's all that really matters. I'm just gonna take that key off him and wait for these two to get close and release the heart and with that we've got half the clockwork piece here a little too easy, one might say. Alright, well, back to work. We've still got one more piece of sabotage to do before we start the heist proper. Now, you know what? Seeing as how we're on this end of the jungle, I'm actually going to go and grab the, the scroll casing that was up there. Just because I don't really feel like going back and just doing all the all this stuff before we jump into the heist. It's better to just not jump into the heist proper. And you know, the tower's right over here, so it's not that far out of my way. Alright, come on. Come on. I know you want to. That's a very impressive mustache, but it's not going to be enough to get you moving faster. Or to save you from drowning. Honestly, thought that the the fall distance would have been enough to take him out, but no, they just instead of falling to his death, he just drowned to death. Right, 
you you can go. Oh wow, your friend actually sees me. Just as a precaution, because I feel like there's going to be at least one guard that gets in my way. And go. Gives us even less time this time around. Ooh, that could have been close. Bad. All right. Just to make sure. Get up here. No! Oh no! Ooh, no, we are right at the goal. Do not deny me this. Oh, good. Phew! Well, that could have been bad. Alright. Back up with Sly. And the location of the final uh, the final job out here is right over there. Thankfully, I have an express pass uh, pathway there. Although, it's a little crowded right now, so I need to take care of this real quick. I'm getting into a lot of fights tonight. I'm such a bad thief. All right. Head down here. I'm just going to slittle right over to here. Let's see what this job is. According to Rajat's blueprints, you're near the spice grinding facility. However, the passage is blocked by those laser fences. Hmm. Looks like they're using TNT to create these catacombs. Maybe I can borrow some to destroy the fences. You're the demolitions expert. How am I supposed to use that stuff? Oh, it's simple. Just jump in, walk the barrel to your target, jump out, and get clear of the blast radius. But be careful around floor lasers, Sly. The TNT barrels won't work on them. Attention guards. Make sure all laser fences are operational to protect the spice grinder. Don't worry. I'll make sure these things work just fine. Also, I like, just get in, get out, don't prime the TNT or anything, don't set the, the fuse as a lit or anything, just hop in, hop out, and it automatically does the job for you. I do like that they brought back the barrel mechanic, though, because that was a, a fun, if underused mechanic in the, in the first game. There, avoid these searchlights. Oh, boy. Within visual range of the spice grinder. What's next? Rajan won't come out of hiding while spice is still being manufactured. If we destroy the grinder, he'll be out of business and have no reason to stick around the temple. Great. We do the world a favor and Rajan's forced out into the open. Start by getting a hold of that TNT down there. It's worth mentioning that guards won't be able to detect you if you stay still while in the TNT barrel. Nice. An explosive disguise. Place the explosive near that grinding wheel, and it'll be blown to bits. Alright, seems simple enough. Now, there's another one of those uh, laser things over there that I want to take care of. Uh, but before we do that, I'm just going to hop over here. I'll leave these guys of any cash that they might have on them. I wonder... Nope, he heard it. I thought it would be more of a silent takedown. Oh, boy. Come on. Ooh, that should have caught me. Take care of him real quick. Make sure to get the TNT barrel into that basin filled with spice dust. Bentley? Are you here with me? Do you have some, like, optic camo on you or something? Or are you here with me in spirit? 
Oh, there was... I didn't even need to take care of those guys. I could have just climbed the pole up here. Once again, don't ask me how I know the code to that. I just magically do. But yeah, it's just another uh, thing to get some easy money with. Oh, you're lucky you got a shiny in your pocket because I want it. Your friend, on the other hand, I'm sorry, but his time has come. Not bad. And with that, that is all the guards down here. Uh, yeah, you, you kind of can break this mission easy. It's supposed to be like a big like stealth mission that you need to use this, position yourself to make sure that the guards don't see you and such, and then just keep uh, sneaking your way over to the spice grinder, just slow and methodically. But if you have the voltage take uh, the voltage attack or you know you're good at taking down guards, you can just basically break this level. Now, one thing I do want to note, there is actually a hidden percentage inside this mission. And the game never tells you this. And there's no like indicator, there's no like hint, no nothing. We would take the TNT barrel over to this I guess it's supposed to be a safe door. Drop it off, let it detonate. There you go. Uh, it actually counts as a, a game percentage, which I always found weird. Like, you figure that maybe even the laser doors count towards percentage, but that's the only time you ever see the, the percentage meter go up a little bit. I will clean out this place. It's not like the guards are going to have any use for it anymore. Plus, there's a lot of money to be found down here. So, of course, I had to raise the property damage. Alright, that should be everything broken. Oops, there was a barrel I missed. Well, it's a good thing I needed another TNT barrel. Okay, good, that's still enough. Sometimes I get a little worried when it comes to the TNT barrels. It's like, oh, it has to be in the red zone to count as it detonating, but the yield for this thing is actually a lot bigger than the game makes it out to be. All right, now for the only truly uh, dangerous thing we need to worry about in here, the searchlights. So long as we're stopped, if they come above us, then we're perfectly fine. But if you find yourself in a really bad situation where it's in like that one sweet spot where the searchlight will always like find you, but you somehow manage to get the barrel like stopped before uh, the lights would register that, oh hey, there's a thief right there, this barrel shouldn't be moving, then you kind of found yourself between a rock and a hard place. And you're just going to have to take the explosion. Now, I actually thought that the, the spice down here was actually lethal, and if you uh, went down here, it was it would actually hurt you while you're in the barrel, but nope, it's just grounded up spice, so why would it hurt you? So, just drop the barrel right here, get out of the way, and we're done. What's going on down there? It looks like spice production has fallen behind. Wait, it's completely stopped. One might say it has ground to a halt. Sorry. Partial flooding didn't work, so it's time to go the distance. Blowing up the temple's elephant mouth should turn this grotto into a swimming pool. I'll cover Murray from the chopper's gun turret while he pries the mouth open. Once that's done, Sly will need to walk the Cherry Bomb 500 into the throat. Then get to high ground as fast as you can. Rajan is sure to show up and be extra angry. 
Jump him, snag his half of the clockwork heart, and we're out of here.